What's going on? It's your boy Loretta Zoni. Some of you might know that I write vlogs and I also do videos which you call vlogs. And this vlog I'm doing today is about how did I get to where I'm at. First off, I want to give a big shout out to Michael Tuck for helping me come up with this idea. Because in a previous post I asked people what would you like for me to talk about or what would you write me like for me to vlog about on my website. I don't know if you checked out my website. You can check it out at uh, www.theredersonly.net. But anyway, I, I'll tell you at the end, at the end of it, how to get to all my information. I'll tell you in the description below. But how to I get to where I am today is, I've done a lot of, a lot of hard work. I would say, a lot of work at the, being open-minded. You know, watching other people's movements, seeing what they do, what they do better than I do. And, you know, asking different questions. And all that. That's another way to get get your stuff out there and how I got to where I'm at. You know, re been doing a lot of reading, a lot of research on the website. Because to me, I like to tell people all the time. Anybody ask me where I find this information at, Google's your best friend. That's, that's one thing. And another way I find out my information is from other people that I've met through other people. I've met through friends and family. I find them out. I'm not going to really do too much name dropping because I don't want to leave anybody out, but those people know who they are. They helped me along the way. They gave me different information. They point me to the direction where I can go get that information for myself and start reading for myself. And, you know, I have some I have some other artists out there that is like a big mentor to me that tells me where I can go get this information at. And, and like he told me, you know, go read for yourself, man. That's one way to get find stuff out. You know, read for yourself. And which is, I think it's true, you know, reading is fundamental. So that's one way that I got to where I am today. Another way was when I came back from deployment, I was doing research on the web. I was trying to figure out ways how to better market myself, to better promote my music, to get people to check out my music, and people to get engaged in my music. So I had the nerve to type in how to get rich rapping. And look what, look at it down, look what popped up. It's from this cold brand. Get Rich Rapping popped up in the search, so I click on it. I watched the video. I'm not sure which video it was. I can't remember. I mean, it was like the end, of, towards the end of last year. And I found out because I had just gotten back from that range. And I started watching it. And I started liking this brand. And I started reading this blogs a little bit about how, how to get fans, how to promote yourself, how to carry yourself as an artist. And I learned, and I looked within myself and said, a lot of characteristics I already have, and I slept on them for a, for a long time, and didn't think that I could bring them out. So, because I'm the type of person that like to help and give people and give to people, and like to be friendly and like to communicate with people. So I realized just by talking to people and being in conversations with people on Facebook instead of hitting them with with your link or telling them to check out your music, you know. Just talk to them like a regular person. Don't even let them know that you rap. Or don't even let them know that you do music or you're looking for them to become a fan of yours. It's just by being yourself. So that's that's one way I got got to do where I am today. By following his brand and just being myself as well. And I feel like I'm still not at where I want to be at. But I'm going to continue to work towards where I want to be at. But I think I'm pretty pretty much in a good place because I'm learning different things every day. Because I learn something new every day about the uh, music business, whether or not. And I think everybody else should do is, do the same as well, you know. And like I say, y'all, uh, reading is very fundamental. You know, get in there and read your book. Sometimes you got to turn off the music, turn off the TV, turn off the video game, turn off your PS4, Xbox One, whatever you play, you know, and start watching, start watching different videos about people, different movements, you know. And a good artist that you can follow, an independent artist, I think one of the most successful independent artists there is, is Tech Nine. You know, I watch some of his videos about what independent artists need to do and how they can get their stuff out there, how to get people engaged in your movement. So that's why I say, like, watch other people's movements, you know. Don't steal from them, but, you know, you can get it's okay to get ideas because that should inspire you to, to give you ideas, you know, to help you to be able to get your movement out there in the limelight too as well. So... I give a lot of credit to uh, Esmo Cole for his movement and helping me learning the different things, how to market myself online and how to engage different audiences and stuff to get people more engagement. And I have seen some better results from that ever since I've been following this movement. 
and I'm grateful for that. And a lot of books I've been reading too. I've been learning that too. One book that I learned from my own boy Chuck, Chuck the Arsonist, which is an independent artist that I recommend that you go check out. I learned from him that there was a book called Independent Music Grind by Jesse James Exon. And I started reading it. So it taught me kind of like the business side of the music too. Or the music business, excuse me. About what I need to do, how to legalize myself, how I could try something different, how not to fall again to the mixtape madness of releasing free mixtapes and just put them on that pill. As opposed to putting it on that pill, put it on your website. But by then, I already had to drop my mixtape. I ended up putting it on that pill. But I learned that next time, you know, just put it on your website first, you get more better results and you can really see who's coming on your website or who or charging by the email. But I learned from that mistake and next time I fix it though but it wasn't so much of a mistake it was just me a learner process and to me another way is to get to where to where I'm at is just it's a learner process you know you're gonna have trial and error you're gonna fail so don't let failure to stop you or impede on your creativity I mean it's all a part of the game you know you're not gonna be successful in everything you try though but the problem is excuse me not the problem but the key is to sit there and keep trying until you find something that works because something that works or hits or is it okay to reach out to different people though but if that answers your question yeah this is how I got to where I'm at just by reaching out to different people you know coming on their status checking out their stuff you know showing support sharing their stuff because people see that and when you give to them they give back if they don't it's okay then you just know well hey I can't support this person okay I'll go to the next person support him and see what he's about because people see that. When, you, when people see that you support them, take an interest in them first, I mean, they take an interest in you. So that's the best way to do it. And that's another way I got to where I'm at now. But I didn't want to keep y'all too long. And I just wanted to put that out there. And I will continue to keep pushing forward and how I got to where I'm at now. So you can check me out on my website at www.loretasonly.net. If you didn't catch that, it'll be in my descriptions. Peace and be blessed.